Well, hello and welcome to what is, in effect, the second half of this grand global spectacle featuring the major characters of the world game. Gone is the relative safety of the group stage. This is where everything now is do or die. One mistake could cost you a place in the quarterfinals. Everything suddenly an awful lot more serious. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. impressive match that A perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position, or the suddenness in which you can it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. That gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Coutinho. He's a, a real magician with a wand of a right foot. Hits one! Big moment! Massive goal! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That was a given, it always was. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Firmino, he's played him through. He's off on... Gabriel Jesus! They've done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. You know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. His second of the game and an eye now for the hat trick. Brazil take a two-goal lead. Ake. He's got options out wide. There are a few waiting, towering header, dispatched clinically. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. The Netherlands get themselves back into the... Ake. He's got options out wide. There are a few waiting. Towering header! Dispatched clinically! Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
the Netherlands get themselves back into contention. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Gabriel Jesus. It's Gabriel Jesus! Oh, my word, my word, that is fantastic! A finish of true class! Snuffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Brazil take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the Van Dijk. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve. And we're off again. Forward it goes. And that's that. So victory in the round of 16, and now a fight for a place in the semis. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? They're shaping fairly menacingly. There's an air of confidence and belief growing that'll take a bit of stopping.